Lucky sock! Go. Mastro Bros. I'm a super beauty bro. Disturbing image. Yeah, great. Gore and violence. Awesome. Flashing lights. Yeah, whatever. Sudden loud noises. Fast moving images. Okay. But gore and violence. That's my shit. All right. Oh, click anywhere. I've just been standing here like, okay, I'm done reading. I'm done reading the text. Can you continue the game now? Hello, everybody. I'm the fucking bear. Let's play. I don't know if this is original music, but I like it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Meow. Meow. I don't. Uh, maybe not have that pop up so quick, because I thought this was going to be like a texty adventure or something, and it was gonna. Well, answer to Aunt Hillary. Um. Uh, sorry you lost the election, Aunt. I, I mean, you know. <laughs> it was my aunt, whom I hadn't spoke with in a long time. She called bearing bad news about my uncle. Did he get another blowjob? That bastard. He had passed away. Sounded odd. Thought perhaps it was because she was crying. At the time, I could never imagine the real reason why. However, I was about to find out. I like this music, I really do. <laughs> I don't know if it's original at all. This is probably like some famous composition from like the 1600s or something. And I just don't. <laughs> I'm not going to read like the funny mother. I'm not going to read. I thought he was given bunny ears. <laughs> I didn't realize that was part of her hat. I think it was. I thought he was like. <laughs> oh, 50 years ago, move over to the Superman, Tom, Jason Fortune, ring them. So, moved away. Felt bad about it. Awesome. So, first plane back home. After a long flight, I had stepped back onto home soil. Home soil. Felt bizarre being back after such a long time. Their home is on the outskirts of Quartel. So, I took a taxi. The roads narrowed as I neared the house. But that wasn't all. I sensed something was wrong. Yeah. I don't know if this is original music, but uh, very side of the house gave me shivers. I almost didn't recognize it. So much has changed since I left. How? No, how? Stepping out of the car, a chill went down my spine. I felt something had truly gone wrong inside the house. What do you mean something had changed? Like, was there like a second story that wasn't there before? That they're gonna prepare me for the horrors I was about to face. Yeah, Alright. Yeah, this is um most likely it's uh just some like free music from like Incompetech or something like that. But uh on the off chance <laughs> it's the bunny ears. <laughs> That's what I'm sorry, I out of the corner of my eye I thought he was giving her bunny ears. <laughs> All right, doors unlocked. Auntie should have been more careful, cause now I'm here. <laughs> Trip was exhausting. I forgot how far the house was from town. No, you, 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 you rode a taxi. No, 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 no. You rode a taxi. How was it exhausting? Was it like a Flintstones taxi? <laughs> I don't know. Da, da, da. What's happened to the house? This place is in ruins. No, not really. There's like one door boarded up and some wallpaper, but... I uh, should look for Auntie. Saw the lights were on in the dining room. Well, let's take whatever this is. That was the first thing my eye was drawn to, and you're not going to let me click it? Whatever. Better go meet my Auntie first. Think she's in the dining room to the right. Alright, let's just fucking go. Hey, Auntie! How are you? I came as quick as I could. Still can't believe that uncle's gone. My dear, you've come. What's happened is a tragedy, but I'm so glad to see you in these challenging times. But please, first, take a seat. Have a cup of tea. You must be exhausted from your journey. 
Thank you, Auntie. A cup of tea would be lovely. I fucking hate tea. <laughs> I'm just make it disappear, whatever. Auntie, why don't you have any arms? Where's your arms, Aunt Auntie? Something's not right. I feel dizzy. <laughs> oh, Auntie's gonna date rape me. Not again. <laughs> oh dear. I feel like, like, dancing. <laughs> All right. I see a spooter web. My head hurts. What just happened? Where am I? This looks like Auntie's bedroom. Oh God, she did day rape me. I must have fallen asleep. But how did I get here? I better take a look around. It's a file folder. Could it be my uncle's? Yet most of the pages have been torn out. What could have something something? Okay. Just some old clothes. An old mirror. Drawer stuck. Something inside preventing from opening it. Oh yeah, take a look at it. Why not? New, no, new. No. Most of the pages of the journal have been torn. One of the few remaining pages seems of interest. Nineteenth of March, two thousand fifteen. I fear that my attempt to seal the portal has made the situation worse. Well, that's just a lovely way to start it. Don't no like uh no 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 slow build up to the reveal. Just there's a portal. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm fine with it. Immediate rest for the wind, bitch. But there is no turning back now. These entities now have an easy way to enter the human realm. And I've seen her already able to take physical form. Even if for only a short time, natural light and fire seem to weaken them somehow. Somewhat. Somehow, somewhat. Somehow, what? But my last candle is running out and it's still only 3 a.m. I fear I won't. <sighs> All right. Bing, dum, bing, dum, bing, dum, bing, dum, bing. Delirious during his final days. You look for Auntie. You might be able to explain what this is all about. What? How have you not figured out that she did this shit to you? Yeah. Nicer than my bed, though. <laughs> Arg! My head! Argin! Largin! Sound. Felt like my head was about to explode. It's a sconce. This dim light makes the second floor corridor bar barely visible. Decorative bowl. What? Glue! Alright. Why did I... No, I was gonna say, why did only one of the doors, uh... I'm sweating. It's a hot day. Probably won't be able to do too much recording. Don't want to overheat the computer. Oh. Oh, I thought that was, uh... An option to save it, but I guess it auto-saves. Let's go over here. Portrait of my grandma. I never had the chance to meet her. Oh, I say it. Buckets of Sagness by Sigmund Punch. <laughs> Sigmund Punch. <laughs> That's a funny name. Can I take whatever that is now? Looks like a box of Pop Tarts. I want a Pop Tart. Auntie, is that you? Oh, I did not see the the shadow. Turned into Jack Sparrow there for a second. Matchbox, only one match left. All right. Let's use it. Let's use it. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. You can start a fire with the match. It just won't last long. Can I just leave? Can I just go? My luggage. <laughs> Count 
Amadeus, of course. <laughs> I'm sorry. For a second, I thought that looked like a very tired Superman. Because <laughs> of the cape and everything. I was just, I've had a shitty day. <laughs> oh, God. I just reached. Why should I leave already? I don't know, maybe because all of everything that's been doing anything? All of everything that's happened between you getting here and now is all individually reasons why you should get the fuck out of here. So, what do I know? Alright. Missing Puffin. Parents distraught over their daughter's disappearance. Police are actively searching for Yolanda who was reported missing two days ago by her parents. She was last seen in Cork Hills Central Park with the family dog. She would never have run away. I'm sure something dreadful has happened to her. Her dad, who had a very girly voice, was reported as saying in response to questioning, the police have so far not uncovered any evidence to suggest that the girl in question was abducted. Five of the cases of similar nature have been reported to the police in the last 12 months. Awesome. So, I was just gonna try to turn it on, but yeah, take it. Take it with you, why not? <laughs> Can I take the thinking man? I wanna take the thinking man. Wait. Okay, one criticism I have for the game so far and given that everything's kind of hand-drawn, I guess that you kind of can't give this criticism because it's just stuff you got to plan out. But this has always been a pet peeve of mine in point-and-click games. When I click and I enter a new room, I should be facing the direction that I would be facing having entered that room. That really throws you off in these point-and-click games. When you enter a room, and then the first screen is you on the other side of the room, facing the way you entered from, because you don't know. You, and you end up clicking and going back, and then, it's just annoying. But but with it being kind of hand-drawn, I can understand that you might have like drawn up a lot of these things before kind of planning out where they'd go. So that's, that's fine. That's fine. Peachy. Old and crumpled piece of paper that I found under the cushion in the living room chair seems to be sort of list, and the handwriting reminds me of my uncle's. Could it have something other hidden meaning? After dusk and before dawn, painter of portrait of Count Amadeus. His life history. R1. B4. Das. Give me a moment. As I had previously said, a ton, a ton, a ton, you. It's a very hot day, and I have to turn my uh, fan down to record, or else my uh, entire recording sounds like. Brrrr. So, yes. <laughs> yes. Figure out what that means. No bing bong? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Can I play the moonless or not? Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's go back. Out here, what happened? Oh shit. There are maggots on my tea and an eyeball! And an eyeball. And an eyeball. Nine, nine, nine. This is one of them there brick bongy games. Uh oh.
I was I, I didn't realize at first I had to do anything. Oops. Let me uh yeah, yeah. So do I gotta bash her in with the candle? Alright. Boing doing doing boing doing dang. Yeah, your phone's dead. You don't have any battery life left, so how's it even on? Alright, take that. Take that. Bash your head in with it. That's, uh... Can we not do that again? I really, I don't... No. Oh. oh. I had two deaths. Awesome. It counts for me. I'm not leaving her like this. Well, you should. You should. So, I don't know what you fucking dug it. Can I glue her? Glue her ass to the chair. <laughs> glue her to the chair. I don't know what you want of me, game. I don't know what you see. I don't know what you wish to accomplish. Okay, so I can't go over there. Can't go over there. I could try going upstairs. Yeah! Thank you for the tip! How very, very kind of you, sir. I only had to die 40 times before you did it. <laughs> Which, given how fucking hard-headed I am about that stuff, that's probably about the accurate amount of times for me to die before I would want a tip, so... What do I know? <laughs> Tee hee! Tee fucking hee! I think I know how to block the door. Yeah! -ha! I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm not staying another minute. I'm fucking going. I'll see you later, bitches. Alright. Yeah, let's see if you pack something that'll fucking help. Probably not. Let's see. that right back, fuck back in. Slightly less annoying than the lucky star. I know what I can use that on. Let's go up to my room. No, you said that I could push it with something thin enough that is a needle not thin enough for you, asshole? Well, I kinda do. I, I kinda do. I don't wanna burn the half down, no. Come on, I don't wanna do that. Bash it. Back, nope. Burn it. Nope. Socket. 
So, yeah. It is so hot in this damn house. Look at that. It's just, it's just heatified. Heatified. Of course, I am in here with a fucking 800 pound gorilla of a computer spewing out fucking heat. So, that's probably not helping. Hi! Can I interest you in some luck? I thought I had tricked him! So... No. I thought I had tricked him! He like... Huh? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know how long this is. So I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'll, I'll continue this in the next episode after I take a few seconds to cool myself off. I'm gonna go stick my fucking head in the freezer or something. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>